so swell simmers, my name is Darth Jeswick and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be building Los Santos Customs from GTA 5 in The Sims 4. So this is just going to be basically useless in The Sims 4 because we don't have cars and Sims team, if you're watching, please just give us a car as like a decoration object that you can like click on and travel from. That's all I want. Like really I just want to be able to make a functional garage in The Sims 4 and not have my houses look weird without them. Like a real garage door would be nice too. I grabbed a few objects out of debug like this gas station awning and a few cars as well as like a newspaper stand and a few like street signs. There's like a highway that runs like right along the front of this lot in Delso Valley. And I thought it would be nice to the people on the highway to give them a little bit more direction because there is a few street signs, but you know, there could always be more. I've done this quite a bit on my channel where I recreate buildings that are in GTA 5 in The Sims. Um, if you want to go check out like the playlist for that, I'll link it in the cards up above. Fun little fact, Grand Theft Auto 5 is the first game I ever bought myself when I bought myself an Xbox. And I have played it so many times and I think it would be fun to maybe play it on my channel and like do a live one day or something like that. Although I'm pretty sure it would get maybe copyrighted. I'm not really sure how that works uh, with the cutscenes and everything with Grand Theft Auto, but you know. But I've built like Franklin's house, Trevor's trailer, Michael's house, the apartment that Floyd and Deborah live in. And all of those are on the gallery if you ever want to download them. You just have to like scroll back a little bit or even search like the name of the house that you want to find. And now Los Santos Customs. Uh, the museum is probably the next thing that I want to like rebuild in The Sims 4 because the museum in this world in Del Sol Valley is just horrendous and I can't stand the look of it. Or we could make it like a retail store and like a jewelry store or something like that because I have a whole like save dedicated to Grand Theft Auto and this is just like the random things that I can think of that I would like to build from it. Unfortunately, Delso Valley isn't big enough, so Trevor's trailer and Ron Joukowsky's house are both in Strangerville because I figured that was the most appropriate place for Trevor to do his, uh, you know, shrug dealings and having all the crazy people around from Strangerville that are infected by the mother plant just makes it like the cherry on top. Because if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto and been up to like the desert area of that city, then it just gives off this exact same vibe. <laughs> Especially if you do the mission where you have to like blow up the farmhouse. Like if you know, you know. Also, speaking of Strangerville, there's a lot of car stuff in here. So we're going to be using a lot of it. Like we have these barrels that I'm going to use for like oil barrels to store like spent oil. I'm also going to create like a small little... Um, like waiting room area, I guess, uh, with like a few vending machines so you can grab like something cold to drink if you wait for your car, quote unquote, because there's not really cars in The Sims. But, you know, it would be cool if we did have them because you could like have it as a kit and then build the car and it would be really cool if they did it. And with all the driveways that are in San Sequoia that actually have cars in them, uh, I feel like it might be something that could add in the future, especially if they just had it as like a decorative object that you could click on and travel from. Just because that would be like the most easy way to do it in this game, because like places in Brindleton Bay don't connect to the road and there's just like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo that would have to be fixed in order for a lot of the lots to have driveways, but I feel like if it was just a stationary object, it would be fine for them to add into. Kind of like how they did the cookbook in the Home Chef Hustle pack, because you can just like click on it and it's like a whole recipe book and like the refrigerators, you can just click on it and boom, like you can pull up the menu. But this would be like travel, switch lots, like stuff like that. So if you've played GTA 5, you might recognize this car as Amanda's car. Amanda is Michael DeSanta's wife, and in one of the missions, Franklin's son, Jimmy, sells his boat, and then they have to chase it with this car, and all of a sudden the car just starts like smoking and like breaking down, so Franklin and Michael and Jimmy all go to Los Santos Customs, and that's kind of how you unlock it. So we have Amanda's car in the garage, and I'm also putting a few bikes over here on this lot. I'm not sure if you can get them off of this rack, 
but you know they are there if you want to have some fun while you're here. Also, if you have TikTok, Ned Luke, the voice actor for Michael on GTA 5, he posted a TikTok of him on his boat and he was going like, my boat, I finally got my fucking boat. And it was like glorious and people were like reanimating it into like GTA 5 and it was great. I loved it. And it was all because of like this scene and it's kind of what inspired me to build this whole Los Santos Customs because I just thought it was so funny. Like that's one of my like least favorite missions because it's so hard to catch Franklin hanging off the like boom arm of the boat. But it's also such a funny mission because Michael is just so upset about his boat that he like never goes on. It's also funny that Jimmy just like got kidnapped because he was trying to sell this boat and he just got mixed up with the wrong people. But like it's Jimmy, he's trying to be a gangster and we all know that he's very much not. <laughs> But we're getting into the like waiting room area now. I'm just putting in a bunch of base game counters in orange. Um, I would have loved to do like purple and blue like the logo of the Los Santos Customs is, but I didn't really think that it fit. Just because the purple that we have in this game is like eggplant and I hate it. I wish we had like a yellowish awning from Debug, but all of the gas stations are either red or blue. so. I went with like orange as like a happy medium because that's really the only thing that matched everything else. I also have a couple of these revenue generating refrigerators so you can buy food here if you get hungry while you're visiting the lot. There's no bathrooms though, but in Grand Theft Auto there is no like health or bladder needs so I didn't really see the need to put one just because we're only probably going to be here for a few minutes if I do anything with this. Which I do think it'd be fun to have like some kind of heist or something in this game just because I feel like I have all these buildings, why not use them for something, you know? Right now I'm just putting out a bunch of like file boxes and like the little pile of letters from City Living and the dine out uh, like business cards I think they're called. I'm pretty sure they're called business cards. I just like, I can't think. My words are gone. Like I feel like I should be writing a script sometimes when I do these speed builds because I get so off track. But I'm just doing some basic cluttering stuff and adding in a bunch of like random stuff that I could find that might make sense for being in a shop. Like we've got this notebook here to like sign in. We could tell people what's wrong with their vehicles and stuff like that. I put a pile of parts in here by the corner, like old rusty parts that they're probably going to throw away. This cart with like electrical stuff on it, maybe they use it for like testing the vehicles or pressure, whatever. I don't really know how cars work. Um, my dad is a mechanic and he worked on heavy machinery and I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about any kind of vehicle. I also added in like this computer thing. Maybe that's what they plug the car into to find out what's wrong with it. Um, and then these like little gas things from get to work. I don't know what they could use them for. Maybe welding, but you know, I don't know. Uh, also just like some random pipes that I could find from get to work and like random electrical stuff. Uh, there's a lot of like random items in Get to Work that fit very well in here. Uh, just from personal experience, anytime you walk into any kind of body shop that's mostly male dominated, there's a lot of like half naked women on posters or calendars. So I put the sexy cop one in ours. <laughs> And I want to say that that's from Get to Work just because that's what I'm like filtered on right now. But I also put a bunch of like hazard signs up because there's like some flammable stuff in there and you don't want to catch on fire, you know? Also, this like wanted poster from Get to Work 2, I think, you know, because we have villains and criminals a lot in this save, um, it'd be nice to have that. Uh, part of the reason why I added that is because in GTA 5, you can recolor or respray your vehicle and it'll lose your wanted level so I think like it would be fun to have like the actual criminals from the poster like respray their cars at this body shop all the time uh, just for like realism I guess. In most body shops they'll have what's called a big ass fan and it's just the brand name of these huge giant fans that are really good at moving air in shops like this so I have the werewolves fan because it looks pretty similar to those. I also really wanted to have a cash register, but they don't sit on the normal bar counters, so I had to add this like counter in here, and I don't like it because it doesn't match with the orange counters that I had, and I was like so upset. <laughs> Yay, big shocker that The Sims doesn't have matching swatches, right? Nothing ever matches. 
I also added this like bar stool here so that your sims can like sit down and write their paperwork out and not have to stand. Not that they actually have anything to fill out because this isn't even a real lot. Uh, I just made it a generic lot, I'm pretty sure. But when I do the play testing for this, I'm going to like have the guy that stands in there usually and just like have him chill and, you know, do his thing, which is not much because even in GTA 5, he just kind of stands off to the side while you're fixing your car. Uh, so they didn't really animate anything, even though it would have been cool if they did. I almost switched out the garage doors from Snowy Escape to the one from For Rent that's like locked, but I didn't want it to be not functional because even though you can't pull a car into there, I still wanted your Sims to be able to walk into that side of the building. But the one from For Rent would have been perfect for this because it looks like a garage door. Especially in like the Grand Theft Auto world because a lot of the like garage doors like lock in the front. Not really like it's just a video game they don't actually lock but like it looks like they could but anyway I, we're getting to like the outside again now i kind of like switched it around because i was like i don't really know what to do with the outside here because in the grand theft auto universe it's just kind of junky like there's a lot of like nasty garbage everywhere and that's kind of what i was going for here so uh i'm just like sizing down tires and there's a couple of old rotting cars that i want to put around here uh they're scrap cars. I don't really know. I'm also slightly pretending that this is also a gas station because I have the gas station pumps, so it might as well be. Uh, but they can come in and pay here, grab a little snack because we have the little vending machine refrigerators. Um, but we also have like these street signs that I'm putting up and just doing some final like decorations here. And we're pretty close to the end of this video now, but you can see how close we are to the actual highway, even though there's no way to actually get a car from there but like I said we're just pretending because this is really the only lot that we have in Del Sol Valley for this um, and I want to stay like in Del Sol Valley and like Strangerville for this. I also added a ton of graffiti on this building just because I feel like that's most realistic for Grand Theft Auto. There's a lot of graffiti on the buildings uh, like everywhere and I love it. I love graffiti. I also added a few more pictures of cars inside. We have a few from Strangerville that have cars in them, so I put those in here. I also have this like really nice souped up car out front under the like gas station awning. And then I'm gonna fence in like the whole outside of the lot, except for like the area where you would pull into the gas station. That's how it is in Grand Theft Auto. It's like a hole fenced in and the only part you can get in is where you would pull into the garage. But that is all I have for the speed build of Los Santos Customs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like down below because it really helps out. And if you think I should like rob a bank or something in The Sims 4, let me know because I feel like that would be really fun. But I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video. Dag dag!